Welcome to Art Explained, a haven where the spirit of art, the gentle murmurs of art history, the narratives of creativity, and the warmth of art education converge, inviting all whose hearts resonate with the beauty of expression. Louis-Jean-Francois Lagrenet, known affectionately as Lagrenet Lenné, or Lagrenet the Elder, was a luminary in the French Rococo period, a pupil under the renowned Carla Van Lo. His journey began on a wintry December day in 1724 in Paris, where even as a child, he sketched the outlines of his future with promising strokes. In the nurturing halls of the French Royal Academy, where seasoned artists taught and talents bloomed, he flourished, his talent crystallizing into mastery. By 1749, his artistic prowess earned him the prestigious Grand Prix de Rome, a recognition that whisked him away to the eternal city, Rome, where he bathed in the light of Baroque masters. In Rome, amidst the echoes of ancient art, Lagrenet's style deepened, drawing inspiration from the Bolognese school, his canvas whispering tales of Guido Reni and Francesco Albani. Returning triumphant to Paris in 1753, he crafted his magnum opus, The Abduction of Deianira by the Centaur Nessus, now residing in the revered corridors of the Musée du Louvre. This masterpiece not only sealed his membership in the Royal Academy, but crowned him a celebrated figure of his era. In the bloom of his 33rd year, Lagrenet's life intertwined with Anne Agathe Isnard, a union that endured the sands of time, marking 55 years until his last breath in 1805. His art continued to flourish, capturing the gaze of patrons and monarchs alike, including Elizabeth Petrovna, Empress of Russia, who summoned him to her court as the director of the Imperial Academy of Arts and her principal court painter. Though his Russian sojourn was brief, Lagrenet returned to Paris, his artistic sanctuary, assuming roles that shaped the future of French art, from Professor Rector at the Royal Academy to the honorary curator director of the Louvre Museum. In the twilight of his life, Napoleon himself bestowed upon him the Knight of the Legion of Honor 
a fitting tribute to a lifetime painted in broad and exquisite strokes. Thank you for joining us at Art Explained. Your presence is a brush stroke in our ever-evolving canvas, and we await, with eager anticipation, to unfold more tales of artistry with you in our next encounter. Music